Hi everyone, I'm Kent Hallaby, current principal and incoming president of St. Ursula Villa School. As many of you know, the Board of Trustees began this school year by evaluating the administrative structure of the school. During this evaluation process, they engaged with experts in the field and they engaged community members to determine the best administrative structure moving forward. The result of all of this work was that the best structure moving forward was a president, principal, director of early childhood model. As the incoming president, I will have a focus on furthering the school's mission and day-to-day -day involvement in non-academic and business functions of the school, namely finance, facilities, admissions, marketing, development, all of these things that are outside of the classroom but still critical to the institution. The next step was to find a principal. We formed a search committee and through an extensive process, I'm pleased to share and introduce Ms. Julie Shear as the new principal of St. Ursula Villa. Hi, I'm Julie Shear and I'm the new principal of St. Ursula Villa. As I prepare for the upcoming school year, there's really three pieces of data and information that I will be looking at um, to be best prepared for this year. Um, first, I want to meet with our teachers and our staff. I want to get to know them personally, but I also want to learn from them and understand what they see as strengths within their own instruction, as well as what they see as the strengths within our school as a whole. Um, furthermore, I want to see and understand what they see as areas that we can improve in and continue to grow as a school. Beyond that, I want to look at our instructional data um, looking at student achievement scores on standardized tests, um, as well as academic performance in the classroom. By looking at that data, I will be better prepared to support the teachers in tailoring their instruction to support the individual needs of our students. The third piece of information that I will be looking at as I enter this year is the curriculum and the instructional resources that our teachers are currently using. I want to understand what we are using so I can help our teachers best meet the individual learning needs of our students. Finally, this is our self-study year for accreditation. Um, through this self-study process, we will be completing a lot of surveys of our teachers, our students, and our parents. And so these surveys will be very valuable to me and to our staff as we evaluate the, the strengths of our school. I plan to facilitate collaboration between teachers within grade levels and across grade levels by creating teacher-based teams um, where teachers can exchange ideas, can learn from each other, and can share ideas in order to improve their instruction to better meet students' learning needs. My role will impact student achievement in the traditional kindergarten through eighth grade classes because through our intentional collaboration between teachers and the alignment of our curriculum across grade levels from K through 8, we will be able to better serve our students and meet their educational needs. And ultimately, this will impact student achievement. The third member of the academic leadership team is a familiar face around the villa. Ms. Lisa Wolfer will continue to serve as the director of early childhood as she has served for the last six years. Hi, my name is Lisa Wolfer, and I'm the Director of Early Childhood at St. Ursula Villa School. In my six years as Director of Early Childhood at St. Ursula Villa, I'm most proud of my ability to form relationships with the community, with the teachers, with the parents, with the students, and also cultivating a positive culture. I um, love coming to work every day in this amazing, beautiful place with such wonderful people. I love working with the teachers. That's my favorite part of my job is the teacher mentoring and team building. As far as goals, I would love to be very intentional about teaching social emotional skills. I would like to adopt or develop a social emotional curriculum and the teachers do a phenomenal job of tapping into those teachable moments, but I would love to be intentional about facilitating this growth. My position really benefits Villa parents, students, and school because we have a very sizable 
early childhood program. And it's important to have someone physically present here in the building that is readily accessible and available. It's important and beneficial to have someone that is familiar with both Montessori and traditional early childhood education, as well as the various schedules and all the moving parts, um, just to keep a well-oiled machine. For many families, this is their first experience with school, so it's an important to have a person that is there to help them with that transition and be a resource for them as they experience this whole new world of routines and expectations and on the other end of the continuum, help them transition to the main school and make sure that they are prepared and ready to tackle that next step in their educational journey. So I'm really excited about this new structure. I think that it will allow everyone to really focus on certain aspects. It will um, allow the president to kind of oversee everything and maintain all the different balls that are in the air and the principal can really focus on academics and teacher support and the director of early childhood could focus on the preschool and we can all support each other and work together to ensure that we give students the best possible academic experience. We're excited for this structure change and its implementation this summer as we continue the work of our highest call, educating children.